my friends, the most magical time of the year continues. Today's video is going to be all about Yes Styles Advent Calendar for 2023. The game plan for this video is the same as always. I am going to unbox this calendar and also show you myself trying on all of the products in this box. Yes Style was kind enough to send this over to me and I want to make this video as helpful for all of you considering this box as I possibly can. Now I know that some of you are here for all of the spoilers and some of you aren't. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you some basic information and then the rest of the video will be spoilers. So I'll tell you when to exit if you don't want to see those. So some basics. This is the Yes Style Winter Beauty Land. It is themed a winter carnival and it retails for $164.90 with a value of over $500. And don't forget, you can use my rewards code for an additional up to 5% off your order. Make sure you put that in the rewards code section. This calendar will be live September 19th for gold and silver members, and it will be available for everyone to purchase on October 10th. And inside you get 24 full-size Korean makeup as well as Korean skincare products. I would say it's really a very good split of those two K-beauty categories. So if you're into both makeup and skincare, ooh, I think you're going to like the contents of this calendar. Spoilers ahead because I'm about to show you how adorable the setup is. I have never seen an advent calendar done like this. It almost feels like it's a vanity. You open it up and there's a nice quality mirror inside. You can take out all of these boxes and have this incredible storage system. And you know me, you know I will repurpose this. You know I will. You know I'm filming right now wearing a lot of the makeup in this box. I will say I feel like they did a good job of choosing in general makeup items that most people will be able to wear. We're going to talk about makeup brushes, a clear brow gel. There are a few shades that I'm not sure will work for everyone and also a few items where I really had to look up what they were. But overall, you can see they put in a lot of effort and I'm just going to tell you right now, this might be my absolute favorite Yes Style Advent Calendar I've ever seen. It's a really good one this year. Are you ready to get into the unboxing with all of the swatches? I say we do it. All right, my friends, are you ready to get into this calendar? And I hope that I was able to show you a shot before this of how cute the part you can't see on screen right now actually is. Let's get into this. We are gonna start with day number one right here. Ah, oh, the designs on this are so adorable. A little raccoon with a makeup brush. You could repackage these as gift boxes around the holidays. Oh, you absolutely could. Okay. So the first item is from Pyeongkang Yule. This is the Deep Clear Cleansing Balm. This is a product I have been wanting to try for such a long time. I know this is a consistent theme with all of my advent calendar unboxings. I know it is, but ah, I love this brand. I recently did a re-review of them. I haven't tried this specific product, but you know, I'll have some updates for you on the screen. Oh, I'm so excited. Day number two is actually in the second drawer that I hopefully showed you in the intro of this video. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I think I know exactly what this is, and I think it is a product that I love. Yes, one point for Alice. It is the Love Beam Cheek Balm from Lily by Red. I, I bought one of these not too long ago. Let's see if it's the uh, same shade. This is 03. Look at this, y'all. I do have this exact color. It is such a beautiful color. And what a gorgeous formula, too. It is a cream. It just blends right into your cheeks. And it looks so natural. And it wears so well. And come on, how cute is this? How cute is this? Oh, this is... We are off to such an incredible start. <laughs> Number three, so this looks like a lip gloss to me. Let's see if Yes Style is sticking with the uh, theme on the boxes. All right, all right, let's see. Y'all, are you seeing this? This is a Kahi, it looks like one of the balms. Are you kidding me? This is, this is an expensive brand. Y'all, I'm so excited. I've never tried this. I've wanted to. I will have to update you on the side of the screen. But I, I'm just, I'm blown away already. 
oh, this is looking like a really, really good Yes Style advent calendar. Day number four here, and I am not gonna pay attention to what's on the box this time because that was not a, well, is that a ball? No, let's not overthink it. We don't, we don't have to overthink it. Okay. So we have, this calendar is amazing. This is the Twinkle Pop Glittering Eye Stick in number 11, Glit Me. So these are meant to be used under your eyes and give a glittering effect. And I know it's it's a super not Western concept, but it is popular in, in K-beauty makeup looks. And this is such a high quality formula. Number five, right here. This feels a little bit heavy. Let's see what we have here. Wait, wait, wait. How many of you can guess it? Oh, you, you know it's Beauty of Joseon, right? Yes! The Calming Serum with Green Tea and Panthenol. You all know I love Beauty of Joseon. They have incredible products and they tell you the percentages of any actives in their products right here. Green Tea Leaf Water, 50.9%. Panthenol, 5%. Wonderful. We love to see it. Looks like day number six is going to be back on the first row here, and I, should, should we guess on it being a mascara or not? It feels lightweight, so I'm thinking this will be a makeup product. Maybe, at least, let's see. Han All Brow Fixer from Romand. <laughs> How funny is that? I was hoping for some brow products from K-Beauty. It's something that I want to try more of, but I feel like I have no idea where to start. And you know, that's exactly what an advent calendar can be perfect for. And this is looking like it'll be some kind of a brow gel. Is it tinted? No, it's clear. Oh, per perfect. That is the right choice for an advent calendar, going out to people of different skin tones, different hair colors. Oh, I, I cannot wait to try this. I know Romand is a very popular K-beauty brand. Day number seven right here. Let's see what we have here. This is, is this some by me? Are, are you all playing the game along with me here? Oh, yeah. How good am I? How good at this am I? Retinol Intense Advanced Triple Action Eye Cream. Look at how giant this is. It is 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce, in a squeeze tube, contains retinol. I just feel like this is a product that so many people in the West are looking for and paying way more money for. Y you all know, you all know. Day number eight right here. Oh, I like that kind of ride. <laughs> do, do you all see? I like that. It's just a nice gentle ride. I'm not much of a... Uh, a roller coaster person. Are any of you, are you roller coaster people? The Etude Lash Perm Volume Fix Mascara. Whoa, that's nice packaging. I have no idea what volume fix means. Does anyone know? Do we know? Let's take a look at the brush here. It's another small brush. So I do like that K-Beauty has these smaller brushes. They're great for precision and for smaller eyes. If you have smaller eyes, it can be hard to use some of the really big brushes. Oh, this has, this has everything in it. Okay, I know we're only on day eight so far, but at the moment I am feeling like this might be Yes Style's best advent calendar yet. Let's see, let's see. Day nine? That's so cute. <laughs> I'm also really having a lot of fun with all of the graphics. Aren't they cute? Okay, this is Frutia, and it is the Reproust Essential Blending Hand Cream. Well, you know what that means. This is the best spot for us to try on a hand cream because you are up close with my hands at this moment. So, oh, it's yellow. It's yellow. Does this have retinol in it? What, what, what do we have in the ingredients here? I will have to look at it later, but let's see how this, oh. This is a very emollient hand cream. Oh, and we have to smell it. It's very different. It's some kind of maybe lemongrass type of scent, but I, I love that it's actually a very emollient hand cream. Day number 10, let's see what we have. Oop, ripping the little boxes and I don't want to because I'm telling y'all, these will be perfect for re-gifting purposes. What is this? What, what is this? I know McQueen. Fake up color shading beige brown. What is this? We're about to find out together. Are you ready? Is it like a contour? Do you think it's a contour palette? 
We have cracked the code. That is exactly what it is. Look at this shade right here. It looks like that is going to be such a good contour shade. Do you see how it's got some gray in it? You always want gray in your contour because shadows are gray and you want warmth in your bronzer. This looks like such a perfect palette. I am feeling like they have outdone themselves this year. We're on day number 11. We're not even halfway through yet. We are not halfway through, but I know this name. I know that brand name, but what product is it? Oh, this is such a good sunscreen. You have to have a sunscreen in an advent calendar, especially a K-Beauty advent calendar. It has to be in there and what a good choice because this isn't the most popular and yet it is incredible. It might even be, if not on par with some of the more popular options, it might even be better. Day number 12 on row one here. Oh, cute little balloons. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Yes. What? The Amuse Dew Tints? Well, I have been wanting to try these so badly, but they are expensive. Soul Soul. What a cute name. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. 13 is heavy. I think this will be some kind of skincare pro. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> I know and love Haru Haru Wonder, but what is this? Black Rice Hyaluronic Essence? What is this? And it looks like a serum, lightweight yet intensely hydrating. You're speaking my love language, Haru Haru Wonder. What are the ingredients here? Some ginseng in here, beta glucan. Wow, um, I cannot wait to try this, and yet I've never heard of this. We're on day 14 down here. Let's see. Hard to guess at what this is. It's mid-weight, I would say. Wake, make, stay fixer packed vegan. Nope, I have no idea. I have no idea what this is. Let's find out together. What? Look at this cute packaging. Is this some kind of cushion? No, this is a powder. This is stay, stay, stay fixer. I get it. It's a makeup setting powder. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. It's, this is so cute. <laughs> Day 15. How cute. How cute is this little giraffe? Okay. And this one feels heavy. This one feels heavy. What do you think? What do you all think? Co-Elf Blueberry and Cream Ice Pop Hydrogel Eye Mask. Whoa, coming for Glow Recipe, or maybe this company came first. Oh, look, it's Petite Fay. I love that company. Okay, day 16 right here. What pretty colors. And this is lightweight, so I am thinking makeup. I am thinking another makeup item. Holly Pop Double Eyelid Liner. Oh, it's from Holika Holika. I have no idea what this is, so I will absolutely have to be over on the corner of the screen telling you what I've learned about this. I am intrigued. Day 17, a little carousel. And go, Therex! Okay, I'm thinking one of the new kind of active products. It's gotta be. See the height? Let's see. The Hyaluronic Acid 3, another product I've been wanting to try. Amino acids, ceramide, probably a great humectant product, no added fragrance. Oh, you all know the deal, haven't tried it, but somewhere over there, I'm trying it for you. Okay, day 18, a big box, and I feel like I see something sticking up out of it, which might make it a little hard to get out of here. Okay, we got it. Are you kidding me? This is an entire brush set. Y'all, what? And it even comes with a pouch? I am so excited. I will be showing you all this. I've never tried these. I've seen this brand though. I've seen this brand a lot. Oh, how cute are they? Look at this, little clear brushes. And are you noticing how exciting these last products are? We are building up some anticipation here. Okay, we are on Day number 19, which is a bear with a serum. I relate, buddy. Ooh, this one's heavy. This one is very heavy. <laughs> Something from, well, we opened it backwards. 
Dear Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser. <gasps> Oh, this is the type of foaming cleanser I love. You see this? This is that uh, type of packaging where it comes out very fun. I'll, I'll show you. Watch. See? I know what I like. The strangest thing for me about this type of foaming cleanser is that this really feels a lot more gentle on my dry skin. I have no idea why. It just feels a lot less stripping to me. Okay, day number 20 right here. This feels medium weight. Let's see. What is, what is this? Peripera, know that brand, ink velvet lip tint and liner set? Is this a Korean Kylie lip kit? Oh, this, this advent calendar. Swatches will, will follow. I have tried this before. This is quite nice. I have never tried this lip liner. I really have not tried much Korean lip liners at all. Oh, how exciting. Day 21, back here in the first drawer. This is heavy. It's heavy. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. I, it's, I, I recognize it. <laughs> Axis Y. That is Axis Y. But what product? Let's see. PHA Resurface and Glow Peel. Oh my gosh, I have wanted to buy this so badly. PHA is a more gentle alternative to AHA. It is wonderful if you have a bit of a more dry or sensitive skin type. We have some papaya in here, some cucumber. Oh, I've almost bought this so many times. And I gotta say really quickly, Axis Y does often have some uh, essential oil ingredients, but I am not seeing any in this product. Interesting, very interesting. Day 22 right here, it is lightweight, but what could it be? What, what is this? Art class, frottage pencil, too cool for school, too cool for school. Is this an eye pencil? It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be some kind of eye pencil. All right, here we go. First swatch, it's better than breakfast. Oh, oh no, I gotta be honest, I, I don't know what this is. Maybe I was using too much pressure because I'm thinking it's something it's not. It almost looks like it's a, it looks like it's a concealer. You see that? Well, I will do what I should have done in the first place and update you on the corner of the screen. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this is. I do know the brand though. Day 23, we are coming to the end. This one's heavy. This one is heavy. Let's see unpredictable as to whether I'll open these from the top or the bottom, isn't it? The Mizon Phyto Plump Collagen. I've tried an essence from this line and I actually really liked it. Okay, let's see how a night cream will be. It looks like a non-irritating formula, which is something I appreciated from the essence. Some Tremella for some hydration. I, I will have to see. I'll try this on. We'll see uh, the consistency of it. What a great addition to this box though. And our very last day, day 24, is painfully where I realized that I think everything pictured has been on the box. That was our Lily by Red, wasn't it? We got brushes, we got an eye stick, Got a mascara in this tube. Oh, <laughs> it's causing me a, a, a hint of pain that there's the kahi. It, it feels like everything is on the packaging. <laughs> but see, I'm only figuring it out on day 24. So the spoilers are not too intense. Wait a minute, we haven't had a palette. All right, day 24, let's do it. It's a big one. It's the biggest box, one of the biggest boxes. If this is a palette, I'm gonna fall. What? Are you kidding me? I just talked about this. I just talked about these because they're so nice. These are such beautiful eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I kid you not, y'all. I love Unleashia. This is such a good K-Beauty brand. Olive glitter. I mean, could you have named it more fittingly? Oh, it's so pr This is so gorgeous. What a perfect end. What a perfect end to this advent calendar. Yes, Style, I absolutely commend you for this one. <laughs>
And my friends, that brings us to the end. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you are going to be picking up this advent calendar. Again, a huge thank you to YesStyle for sending this over. I hope the video was helpful for all of you watching. And that's it. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.